Hello again, I'm David Summers, back from vacation, and here's lesson five of pros and cons, why DMs don't work. A modifier is a word or phrase that describes a subject. For example, in the sentence, YouTube sensation David Summers lives in the East Village, YouTube sensation modifies or perfectly describes the subject David Summers. A dangling modifier or DM occurs when the modifier describes the wrong subject. To avoid DMs, make sure the modifier and its intended subject are as close to each other as possible. Let's look at some examples of what not to do. Our first example comes from a former student of mine writing about her experience on the track team. She writes, flying down the last hill and gasping for air the finish line finally came into view. Okay, the modifiers here are flying down the last hill and gasping for air, and the subject should be the runner. But when the author places the finish line immediately after the comma, the finish line becomes the subject being modified. But we can't have finish lines just flying down hills whenever they feel like it. How would we ever determine who won a race? The whole point of a finish line is that we know where it is at all times. To be more clear and more concise, we need to make sure that the runner and not the finish line is clearly linked to its modifiers. Here's the revised version after we remove the DM. Flying down the last hill, gasping for air, I could finally see the finish line. Perfect. Our second example comes from philosophy professor Tamler Summers in his book, relative justice. Tamler writes, attractive as it may be, I do not believe this analysis gets to the heart of Greek attitudes about responsibility. Again, let's look at the subject that comes immediately after the comma. Does the subject I connect with the modifier attractive? You tell me. While Tamler loves to remind family and friends that he received a chili pepper for hotness on RateMyProfessors.com, I don't think he means to describe himself as attractive in this particular sentence. How could he fix it? Well, he could stop hedging and remove the phrase, I do not believe, from the sentence. Here's the revised version after we remove the embarrassing dangling modifier. Attractive as it may be, this analysis fails to get to the heart of Greek attitudes about responsibility. Much better. Now the analysis, and not my brother, is being described as attractive. Okay, you're thinking, you found a mistake your student made and that your brother made, but you wouldn't find a dangling modifier in the New York Times. Well, our final example comes from New York Times columnist and political commentator David Brooks in a 2008 article. Brooks writes, if elected, Obama's main opposition will not come from Republicans, it will come from Democratic leaders on Capitol Hill. Now, this example looks harmless because Obama's name comes right after the comma, but it's still a dangling modifier because it implies that Obama's opposition and not Obama is being elected. Now, we know what Brooks means, of course, but we have this rule for a reason. Removing dangling modifiers eliminates ambiguity and clutter. Here's the revised version. If Obama is elected, his main opposition will not come from Republicans, but from Democratic leaders on Capitol Hill. There we go. Although, looking back, I would argue that Obama's main opposition did in fact come from Republicans. Now, unfortunately, my research team was unable to find any dangling modifiers committed by our friend Kim Kardashian. I did order her 448-page book, Selfish, figuring there had to be some examples in there. But I soon learned that Selfish is 448 pages of Kardashian selfies. God bless her. At least she taught us that DMs don't work. Always remember that your job as a writer is to be as clear and concise as possible. DMs are careless, misleading, and inappropriate. Get rid of them. Once again, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Like and subscribe for more content.